Hi everyone, welcome back to my lab and today's video which is going to be a 5 in 5 featuring blush. This is a brand that launched within the last year I would say and it got a lot of attention upon first launch because of its racy names. Though I think that that's not exactly what the brand was going after. In any case, I've tried a lot of their products now and I've selected 5 to feature in this video where I will rank them from 1 to 5 flasks. This is a series that I think I started here on my channel but who knows, it's so hard to be unique here on YouTube. Basically, I'm going to give you five one minute reviews on five different products that I've tried. I am wearing them on my face so that you can see how they applied. Now without any further delay, let's go ahead and begin. The first product I'd like to feature is the Fresh Flush Illuminating Primer. Right now it's got 4 stars on Ulta but only 18 reviews so not too much to go off of. This is supposed to be an illuminating primer serum that's supposed to give you a hydrated and dewy look to your skin. It's also supposed to have skin loving ingredients which it does when I inspected the ingredient list but those ingredients are pretty far down on the ingredient list and denatured alcohol is pretty high up. I love a dewy primer because I have dry skin but putting alcohol on my face is a little counterproductive. I do understand why they released this type of primer. It is a dimethicone based primer and so it gives a lot of slip to your foundation when you put it over top and their foundation comes in a stick form so it really allows you to move the foundation around so that you don't really have too much of a thick cakey layer and in that sense it works really well with their line. You do get one full fluid ounce and it comes in this beautiful glass bottle with a pump which I do enjoy because I actually like the way that it looks without makeup but it's a product I'll finish and probably not repurchase. The next product I'd like to feature is the Firm Flush Thick Stick Foundation. And yes, it is already losing a flask for its name. It is a stick foundation. It comes in 40 shades where you only get 0.16 ounces of product where the typical foundation you would receive at least a half an ounce in comparison with other stick foundations. However, I have been using this for quite some time. I still have a lot of it. So a little bit does go a long way, especially if you use it with a primer that allows the product to really move around. My opinion comes from a dry skin type. I do also prefer a lighter coverage foundation. I do like the convenience of the packaging. I think it's the kind of product that looks better as you wear it throughout the day. I am able to build it up, but it's not the best on my dry skin. Other cream products layer really nicely on top of it and it won't move around or lift off of your skin. It's not one of my favorite foundations. I do like the shade names. It's all dessert type foods. The foundation is currently sitting at three and a half stars on Ulta.com with a significant higher number of reviews at 192. Next, we have the Right Blush Glisten Drops and I'm tempted to remove a flask for its name as well, but I love it too much to do that. These come in four different shades. You do receive 0.6 ounces of products and the way that you use it is you have a dropper bottle which you squeeze and then you drop the product. With one drop of this liquid illuminator, I can do my my entire face. This applies beautifully over bare skin, over foundation, over powder. It's a natural glow, absolutely no glitter. It is the highlight that I'm wearing today. I do have the shade Aura and I also have the shade Whisper. Right now it's got four and a half stars on Ulta Beauty but that's only with 13 reviews so I'm putting in my two cents. This is an absolutely beautiful product. It's super comparable with the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops although I think that this has the advantage in that it does not dry as quickly. I like this better than the cover effects from the Anastasia. These are gorgeous and if you like a liquid illuminator try this one. These are the Flesh Flesh Color Eyeshadow Palettes. I have two of them. This one is designated as a Starshine and this one has no specific designation. This was their first palette. It does have a very nice mirror inside. Also comes with a brush that looks like this and these eyeshadows are really easy to work with. It's a nine pan eyeshadow palette. It has a good mixture of mattes and shimmers. This one has six shimmers and three mattes. It is the eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing on my eyes today. The mattes blend beautifully with no fallout. The shimmers do have a little bit of fallout and they perform best when applied damp. This one has a lot more shimmers. The metallic shades are a little bit more crumbly but they apply really really well with a damp brush. But they're super easy to work with. I'm actually really impressed with the shadow quality. I think that the challenge that they're having with these palettes is the price to be honest. That is dissuading people from trying them. I think that if more people tried it they may actually like this formula. I think it's really nice. Really easy easy to work with. Packaging is a little bulky but 
good quality shadows. Next we have the Strong Flush Lipstick priced at $18 and these come in nine variations. I have two. I'm wearing this one today which is called Soul. You do get 0.12 ounces of products. These are really bold, beautiful shades. They're more of a satin finished kind of lipstick. I think that it lasts really well. It does transfer. It's not transfer proof but I love the shades. They apply really well. You get really nice opacity in the color and this is the other shade that I have. This one is called prize and it is more of a pinky color but i love that packaging listen isn't that satisfying it's really high quality these are only 18 dollars, and they definitely didn't spare any expense on the packaging i really enjoy them they're comfortable they're easy to apply comfortable on the lips they don't look too matte they don't move around they don't bleed into my fine lines so i do enjoy those lipsticks right now they're rated four and a half stars on ulta beauty but again only 15 reviews this time i do like these i would definitely recommend picking one or two up if you find a shade you like so these are the products i wanted to talk to you about today now let's get on with my rankings All right, so that was everything for my video. I would love to know in the comment section down below how you would rank these products if you tried them. Know that these are very, very quick reviews, so if you had any questions on any of these products or other things from the line, because I do own other products from the line, then leave those in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about the series, if it's something you think I should continue on my channel. It's something a little different, a little faster for those days that you don't have time to watch a really long video. That's everything for today's video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up it really helps my channel and if you're new here I'm Jordi if you enjoy the content that I provided then hopefully you'll stick around and watch a couple of my other videos and maybe even subscribe as I would love to have you thank you again for sharing a few minutes of your day with me I really appreciate it and I hope you're having a great one I look forward to seeing you again really really soon on my next one bye bye